Malaysia is set to further ease restrictions today with nearly all social, economic and religious activities set to restart. A strict social distancing protocols and safety measures must still be adhered to. But the Movement Control Order, or MCO, was first relaxed on May 4th, uh, six weeks after a strict restrictions that closed most of the country, the economy and the country's borders as well. So, so far, uh, Malaysia has recorded more than 8,300 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and 117 deaths. But for more on the story, let's uh, bring in our correspondent, Melissa Go. So, Mel, um, this new phase in Malaysia's reopening is dubbed by the Prime Minister as the Recovery Movement Control Order. What does it entail? Well, first of all, this is not a full exit, yeah, but a of easing of uh, existing restrictions further. Starting today, Malaysia enters into the recovery phase where interstate travel ban for the last three months will finally be lifted, enabling city dwellers to return to their home states to see their parents for the first time after three months. They couldn't do it during the Eid celebrations. Now, businesses as well, they can offer their services across the states. Now, these relaxations will boost domestic tourism for sure. That's been crippled by the movement curbs. But overseas travel is still banned. Also, under this new new phase of the MCO, morning and night markets, including the bazaars, the hawker centres, the laundrettes and all will be open. And hair salons, especially the beauty parlours, the barber shops and so on, uh, will finally be allowed to resume operations subject to strict SOP and by appointments only and one customer given one hour, in fact. Now, a lot of the close contact spots still not allowed because safe distancing is hard to manage. Meanwhile, the entertainment outlets, the nightclubs, the karaoke, the pubs and theme parks and so on, along these busy street of Bangsa will still be closed. Now, schools, however, will only be open in stages. The SOP is still being worked out by the um, education and the uh, health ministries. Julie? And Mel, I'm sure a lot of people are asking this question, but how long will this recovery phase take? Well, as far as this recovery phase or the, C, uh, the RMCO that's been gazetted, it's until August 31st, the National Day. But the Prime Minister said it depends how Malaysians cope with the situation. If there's no spike in cases, uh, the SOPs are closely adhered to and people are disciplined, they're responsible enough in adapting to the new norm, then we're entering after 31st of August, entering into a normalisation phase until a vaccine is found. There could be, uh, you know, m movement and perhaps lifting of the borders right now. They're still under strict control. Overseas travel is still banned. But all these is talking about a green lane, perhaps to countries that's also considered that's, you know, handling their COVID-19 uh, pandemic well. They are considering all these. But right now, for the next few weeks, from now till August 31st, we're trying out the recovery phase, allowing more businesses to open and also for interstate travel, but it all depends on the people. It's been a long and hard battle as far as the health ministry director general is concerned. It depends on how the daily numbers are doing. If Malaysia can maintain uh, with low transmission cases of below um, a single digit or a low double digit, then we can consider entering into normalization once this recovery phase is over end of August 31st.